All right, what is up everybody? So we're on day three of building our uh, little toy bins, wood crates, whatever you wanna uh, use them for. Um, so the first kind of two days was ripping down the plywood and getting all of our parts cut. So uh, I cut the last little bit of parts that I needed uh, from yesterday because my battery ran out on the saw. So I got those cut, got the bases cut for the smaller bins and the bigger bins, so the bigger bases are right there. So I've got 12 of the big bins that I'm gonna make, and then six of the little little bins I'm gonna make. Um, so now uh, the next step in my process here is to nail all the, the kind of frames together. And so what I did was I have my little worktop here and I just pin nailed, um, you can see the little pins there, but I just pin nailed this kind of um, brace together that way it, it just holds these pieces at a 90 degree angle and then all i got to do is just slide my two pieces in hold it hit put a couple nails in uh, i'm going to be using my air nail just because one it's a whole lot lighter than the cordless one i have and um, it's just going to work a lot easier that way um, but basically what i'm going to do is go through nail all, all the elbows for probably i think i'm just going to work with the the big bins first get all those pieces nailed into the elbows and then I basically will come back through and then put everything back in a jig again once it's made and then just mate this side with the opposite corner of the other piece to get my squares or my little boxes do all that set those up and then I'll probably move on and do the little bins get those all framed out and then once I'm done I'll go through and I'll make the actual full crate I'll add the bottoms and do the supports and do all that. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, hopefully we can get it done in about an hour and a half, two hours at the most. And then from there, it's just um, staining them and then doing any custom stenciling that we need to do on them. So I'll put you guys on time lapse and I'll catch you when we're done. So we got our 12 bins done. So we got our stack of 11 and number 12 here. Um, I'm not gonna get um, these little ones done today. It's getting too late for the day. I gotta go to sleep so I can go to work tonight. Um, but this shouldn't take me too long to do tomorrow. Um, and then basically all we got left to do on these guys is stain them and we've already got four or five of these sold already. Um, and then a couple of them are getting some custom cutouts like I did um, with some of the little bins in the past. So I think two, I think two of these bigger bins are, have a cutout on them, which won't be that big of a deal to do. Um, but yeah, it didn't take too long. It took me about, about an hour and a half, which is kind of what I figured. And the nice thing about doing batches like this is kind of once you get a system going, um, it goes pretty quick because, I mean, if I were to do that one by one from, you know, making the sides and kind of slowly building it up all the way, it would probably take me two, two to three times as long just to make one of these. And then if you times that by 12 or 24 or however many you're making, uh, that time really adds up. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll probably do another video of these bins once they're stained and stenciled done you can kind of see what they look like once they're all done up but that's all i got for you guys make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace